What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today we are going to claim our Elite 3 Fut Champs rewards. Obviously in yesterday's video, I'm actually recording this straight after I recorded yesterday's rewards. Obviously in yesterday's video we hit huge players. Pogba and Mbappe, I, uh, the video is yet to go live so I haven't seen what you guys suggest for me to do with the team. But we're going to open all of our rewards here today. Three player pick packs, one premium team of the week pack, one 100k pack, 70,000 coins in the bag as well, which is obviously fantastic. But we're going to get straight into our player pick packs. I've opened some rewards for some players and the elite reward that I opened wasn't the best. The gold two, the gold three, sorry, was good. The gold one was the best. I am hoping, I don't I, I, do you know what, it doesn't actually matter what we get out of this because there's no quality defenders that will go into our team. So we start with Chester, Chilwell, Goodwin, Guzman and Kalefi. Kalefi. I suppose Chilwell wouldn't be bad because he strong links to Ferdinand. He doesn't have the greatest stats, but he is an option. He is, an, you know, with a Shadow Chem style or an Anchor Chem style, he is another option that we can throw into the team. Not that I think he's a good option for us. But Chilwell will be our first pick. Our second pick, I can't imagine my luck's going to be uh, too great. That's not bad. Thorgan Hazard is, is good. This is a good card as well. Really well-rounded stats. Good stamp, good dribbling, good passing, good shooting, and good accelerator, like good pace. And I think, is he four-star, four-star? Three-star, four-star. That's sad. Medium, medium. But that is, that is a good card to get. I don't think my luck's going to be in with these red informs, guys. Mertens, Felipe Anderson, Richarlison, are they going to show up for us? No, they're not. So my my pack, my pack red informs here, and I can't complain after the pack luck we had yesterday. Um, I can't complain at all, but we're going to take... I already have the inform Chester. This isn't actually a terrible card, other than his reactions and ball control. Uh, I think we're going to take this guy. Nope. Do I take Daily Blind? Obviously, I'm never going to use him. It's not. A, it is not a bad card, other than the lack of pace. That is quite well-rounded. He would make a good centre mid. Um, we're going to take Daily Blind just because he's the highest rated. So my red informs, not great. An 81, an 84, and an 82. But Thorgan Hazard is pretty good, actually. It's, that's not a bad uh, not a bad call. We're up to 170,000 coins now as well. We're obviously going to get ourselves a 100k pack, tradable, and a premium team of the week pack. If we could even get anything decent out of these, that would obviously be very nice. We get a walkout. I'm so done. I'm so done. What is this? Inform walkout? No. Another walkout? Ah, oh, it's Pjanic. Hey, you can't win them all. I would have loved it if it was a Matuidi or a quality CDM, but we get another walkout. I, I, was, I was half expecting something absolutely spectacular there based on yesterday's packs. Wasn't to be, but the walkout is nice uh, with Pjanic. Doesn't look to be much all else in here. Uh, only 20,000 coins or so, so we'll hold him in the club for now. There really isn't that much else in here. Uh, we're going to store all of these items in the club. We've got eight duplicates. That's fine. I've got the trade pile space for it. We're going to send all of these guys up to the trade pile. For this Team of the Week pack, I really hope we see the walkout symbol here. You know, there's some really good players that we can get. Uh, after this, we are going to play a Foot Champs game. Or maybe some Foot Rivals gameplay to show in here as well. Let's see what we can get out of our Foot Champs pack. It is a walkout. That is a great start. You know, you don't really expect too much from these packs. What are we going to get? Italian. Striker. Is that Bellotti? Bellotti. Not bad. What is he, 84? Yeah, so we've missed out on a lot of the big guys. But Bellotti is not a bad pull. Uh, when you see the walkout symbol, you kind of get a little bit hyped up. But yeah, Belotti's not bad at all. I, I, he's, he's not a bad card. Um, a little bit low on composure and reactions, but his physicals are really good. His finishing shot power and positioning is good. His pace is right. And of course, he's got the, the five-star weak foot. I can't imagine he's got great value. No, 30k is not bad though, you know. And then Joan Jordan here, probably a discard value in form, absolutely. And Schaffler as my third and final. So, you know, we've got about fifty to 60,000 coins in this. Plus the 70k coins that we picked up, that's 130,000 coins, plus what we can sell the 100k pack for. You know, we probably made like 160, 180 off of this set of uh, Foot Champs uh, re rewards. We can't have it all. We did get all right, to be fair. You know, Thorgan Hazard is a decent red in form. Bellotti is not the worst. It's a walkout in form from the Team of the Week pack. And we got a walkout from the 100k pack. On that regard, not too bad. Um, however, none of those players are going to impact our squad in any way. Um, maybe Thorgan Hazard will get on the bench, but honestly, probably not. Uh, but we'll keep storing the players and stuff. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with the team yet, but we are. I'm going to go and play around with a few things in the team, get some Fut Rivals gameplay in. Uh, you know, we're going to play, I only need to play like two to four games this week. So we're going to have like maybe three or four games in the rest of this video. Um, but this is going to be the end of the rewards there, guys. I will be right back.
Okay, guys, before we get into gameplay, we have got a couple of SBCs. Uh, but we got some comments, obviously, from the last episode. In the last episode, we packed Pogba and uh, Mbappe. It caused me some great deal of issues because I've got about 11 absolutely world-class attackers. And I'm quite short on world-class defenders. Obviously, outside of my starter players, you know, we're still missing a few in some areas. Um, but the first account, the first comment is from ETG. He says, your account is rigged. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, right? I'll explain why it isn't in a second. But there is a thread on Reddit called Do EA Juice YouTubers Packs. And then in brackets, my dad left is the name of the guy that made the thread. It says, example of Nepenthes. It says, imagine you decided to do a pack-only road to glory where you could only play with players you have packed. Then... You pack over the first month and a half or so of the game, Prime Trezeguet, UCL De Bruyne, UCL Bale, UCL Courtois, UCL Sané, Varane, Pogba and Mbappe, Inform Suarez, this and countless other higher rated players and walkouts, he's not wrong, PK, Inform Ben Yedda, UCL Vertonghen, plenty of others, all while having not spent any money at all. I'm sorry, but it's getting to the point where it's almost obvious his pack luck has been rigged. You can have good luck and pack a few insane players, but this is genuinely another level. For EA, it's not too far-fetched an idea. Give YouTubers really good packs. Their fans want to pack those players so they go out and spend money. They get poorer packs and maybe a good player occasionally, but EA have now got even more money. That's not how it works. Because for, for me specifically, I am not in EA's good books on any kind lists. I'm not in the Game Changers network. And although I have good working relationships with some of the guys at EA, for EA as a brand, I am not on a good list or anything. So somebody in the in that thread in the Reddit thread said like why him? You know, there are countless other player YouTubers that are, that are game changers that they could give give this pack luck to that it would be like it would benefit them more. Why would they give it to someone who has a combative history with EA that calls you out sometimes for the right reasons, sometimes for the wrong reasons, has legal issues with EA? Why would they give it to him? And the answer is they wouldn't. To the point where even Corey was in that thread and responded with um, something just just say just saying no basically. Just said uh, just just no. The answer is no. There you go. Corey literally said the answer is no. Here's why: for the account that I'm running, it doesn't make any sense at all. This account is designed specifically to explain to people how to play this game without spending FIFA points and even without using the transfer market to buy players. My whole ideology behind this account is, hey, let's see what we can achieve from just opening the packs that we earn from playing the game. If anything, this is an anti-pack campaign and this account should have even worse pack luck than ever before, not better pack luck. If I was packing all of these players on an account where I spent FIFA points, I could understand the argument. I still would disagree with it, but I could understand it a little bit more. I'd be like, hey, look, I'm packing all these insane players on an, an account where I'm spending FIFA points that pushes a narrative, hey, if you spend FIFA points, you get these great players. This account pushes a narrative, hey, if you play in Fight Rivals and get untradeable rewards, you'll pack good players. You can't buy untradeable packs with FIFA points. So all that's going to do is encourage people to play for rivals, take the untradeable rewards, and that's it. It's not going to encourage... Nobody's going to watch this video and go like, wow, he got something sick out of an untradeable pack. I'm going to go and buy a 7.5k pack. Nobody's going to do that. It's just not how it works. Um, so there we go. That's my, that's my opinion on that matter. And that one of the comments came from Dennis. He said, after a shocking pack luck cycle in both FIFA 17 and 18... It's time you got lucky in FIFA 19, my friend. No EA or any crap involved. This is your year, Dad. Now, the only thing is remaining is Top 100 Weekend League. And, yeah, I, I, I guess there's a lot of new people here. Because last year, I got atrocious pack luck. I, I packed a couple of decent players, generally nothing else. The year before, I had atrocious pack luck. I, pack, I, I think we worked it out to, like, five top-end players for a whole year of FIFA 17. With elite champs rewards basically every week, all the SBC packs, all of the uh, DKT rewards, and everything else in between, and then we didn't get anything. Um, FIFA 16 as well. My pack luck was terrible in the Road to Glory. It's FIFA 19. I've I have just been lucky. I, that's, there's no other. You know, there's nothing else to it. I've just been lucky. In terms of me getting top 100, um, I I'm I'm lost with this right. Uh, in terms of the account, because 
right now I'm playing my Foot Rivals games. I play enough Foot Rivals games in this video to the point where I don't need to play Foot Rivals for the rest of the week. And after I play Foot Champs, I'm going to end up getting enough points to get four more 50k packs and two more 35k packs. I'm literally going to get 270,000 coins worth of untradeable packs on Thursday next week after playing five games in Foot Rivals. That is how bad this reward system is. I, I sh like I shouldn't be punished. I'm not uh, well. Like I'm not even, like if I play more, I get punished because the rank two and rank one rewards are worse. However, I'm actually being grossly over rewarded for the massive lack of energy that I'm putting in. Let's assume I get elite three every week in foot champs and I stay in division two claiming these packs for 35 games a week. I'm gonna get uh, three player picks from the red informs, one three inform pack, one 100k pack, four 50k packs, and two mega packs. I'm literally gonna get like 500,000 coins worth of packs per week for 35 games. I mean, I'm happy with that, right? But what that removes is the need for me to play the game, which actually hurts me in terms of my ability because I don't get to practice through the week unless I play other people. And in fact, you see me play uh, a streamer here today because I want to practice. I want to play against people around my level, you know, around that Elite 3 to Elite 1 level to make sure I'm still getting better. But I don't want to do it in Rivals because I'll get punished. Um, so for me, getting up into Top 100 is actually going to be a bit of a challenge, a bit of a task. If I could even get there, I don't know. I'm working hard on my gameplay this year. You know, I'm trying to look back and, and work hard, harder than even last year. And, and I have actually got progressively better at the game year on year. FIFA 17, we only got Elite 1 once. FIFA 18, we got Elite 1 twice. And we only played Foot Champs for 10 weeks. Um, this year, I've got Elite 3 two times out of five weeks. Gold 1 the other few weeks. But obviously, we've had stumbling blocks along the way. And I'd be interested to see now. I'm, I'm hoping that I can stay getting better at this game and, and stay in elite now but yeah um top 100 might just be a pipe dream maybe it's something i can achieve much much later in the game who knows but i'm gonna keep trying my best the the fortunate thing is is that the team is in such a state right now it's in such a good position right now that i am i'm genuinely two players away from having a team that is there is no excuse to not get top 100 however However, I've got two comments to read, and they're both pertinent to, to each other. Uh, the first one is from Sean A. He says, the series is dead for me. Good luck with the rest of the series, my dude. Congrats, though. And that had a lot of thumbs up. Uh, and then another series from Tane BT says, anyone else not as interested in this series? I'd be more interested, and I'm sure others would, if you were playing against an average team, because this feels like a rich man's road to glory. Um, to address the first one, with this series being dead for you, we are a long way away from this series being... Any, anywhere close to finished. Um, you know, in terms of like my squad, I, I, I put Pogba and Mbappe into the team for today and it's not working for me. You know, I, I lost, I think, three out of my five games and I won two out of the five games. But it's like Pogba just doesn't fit into my team. I really enjoy the 4 2 3 1 this year and I really enjoy two CDMs this year. So I've got Party and uh, Rabio, who make for good CDMs. Pogba doesn't make for a good CDM. So unless I change my entire squad, I can't use Pogba. And Mbappe can get into the team instead of Sané, and I'm absolutely okay with that. Mbappe instead of Sané is fine. One thing I did notice, though, is Mbappe seems to burn through his stamina way quicker than Sané did, and Sané has less stamina on his card. I don't know why that is the case, but that's where we're at with that. But yeah, you know, although we've got two more big players for the squad... We haven't actually upgraded the squad at all. Um, we are we are missing a lot of players. I'm missing a, a quality left back and two quality CDMs. Once I fill those voids, at that point, we're still not even close to finishing in the series because obviously today we're going to get the new Champions League promo, which is going to have some cool players. There is going to be weeks and weeks of foot champs rewards. There is going to be a player of the month for Bamian coming today that I want to get in the squad. Even though I've got so many attackers already as an Arsenal fan, I want that player of the month for Bamian. Um, we're going to be getting team of the year, maybe other special cards that we can get. I want to make sure I can get as many icons as possible into this team. The ones that I actually want in the team and that are going to work with the team. We are so far from finished on this account. What we've got though is we've got the luxury to set ourselves up to actually have the most insane team by the end of the year. Did I think I'd have this team in a first owner road to glory? Never in a million years. I thought it would take months. To, I actually thought 
I would only get a great team when team of the season was out. And it was, you know, because of how team of the season was, like, for example, last year with the team of the season upgrade packs and stuff like that. I thought, yeah, team of the season is where my, my account my, will really, really change and, and get into being, uh, you know, something good. And that's because, obviously, I didn't expect to be able to pack this ca caliber of player uh, along the way. You know, I, I, did, I, I could never imagined, as I say, you know, picking up a team like this. With that being said, as I say... This team is still far, far away from being what I need it to be. You know, I, I'm playing with Pogba and Mbappe here. It's not really doing well for me. We've got a long way to go. We've got a lot to achieve. And yeah, I mean, you know, to, to, to respond to what Tane Beatty says, he says, anyone else not interested in the series, I'd be more interested, and I'm sure others would, if you were playing with an average team, because this feels like a rich man road to glory. Why? Why wouldn't you want me to be successful in my team and in my gameplay? It seems like what you want me to do is play with an average team, get really bad results, complain about the game, and and, and make content that I don't enjoy. Like, like it, it, it doesn't sit right in my mind that people think, oh, he's got a good team, so the team's finished. We got There's more to achieve. There's more to achieve, much more to achieve. Getting better foot champs results, becoming a Division One player, getting all the icons that I want into the team. We're so far from finished that if you think that this series is over, it is because you don't understand what I think a road to glory is. And, and we are far, far away from a road to glory because in three months or four months time, if I haven't upgraded anybody in this team, I will be way behind the curve. Right now, my team is ahead of the curve in, with, the, with the current state of the game. But when team of the year comes out and when more icon sets get released and when more SBC cards get released and so on and so forth, Everybody else is going to start keep stacking their team up, stacking their team up. And if I've still got this team, it's not going to compete. So there's, you know, it's a constant, uh, like a constant issue of continually improving your squad. Um, so if you, if you guys feel like this uh, video is, or this series is dead for you because I've got some good players in the team, I appreciate the time you spent on the channel. But for me, we are just getting started. And, and where I'm at is I, I've built this team this quick, this good which allows me to help increase my team for the better for long term. If I was still with a bad team and I was struggling to get even gold one or gold two in foot champs and I was still in division four or division five because my team wasn't able to compete, it would take such a long time to build up and build up and build up to get to where we want to. I've got this amazing platform now where we can stand on, we can get great re re rewards in fight rivals, we can get great rewards in fight champs and we can build the best team. And for a first owner team, wouldn't it be amazing to turn around in six months and say, oh my God, he's got on a first owner team, prime Hullet, prime Ronaldo, prime Henri, prime Balak, prime Vieira, prime Maldini. Like, wouldn't it be amazing to, to be like, holy moly, he did all of this and didn't even buy anyone to use off the transfer market. I think that would be amazing. Um, Sean Taylor says, just wait till you get Gwila in the with those French links. I'm excited for him, man. I'm excited to get him into my team, you know, adding him in, getting him and uh, maybe uh, Rabio together in a CDM. You know, there's going to be no place in my squad for Pogba. Um, there really isn't. De Bruyne is just too good of a cam. Trezeguet is too good of a striker. I think Mbappe and Bale on the wings is great. Uh, Guilla Vogui and Rabiot at CDMs will be amazing. I, I, I genuinely don't think there's uh, any space for Pogba in my team. Uh, Gemma Hilton says, Nep, what's your thoughts on doing Prime Icon SBC2 to get Makaleli by using your Trezeguet as it would give strong green links to most players as your squad is mostly French and then also you would gain a solid CDM who is meta. I don't want him. I, like, A, I don't want uh, Makaleli. If I go for an Icon SBC CDM, it's going to be either Balak, Vieira or someone of that calibre. Um, but I don't want to get rid of Trezeguet. Trezeguet is a class. Well, I know I could just play Suarez instead of Trezeguet, and Suarez will score a lot of goals, but the four-star, four-star of Trezeguet is so important to how I play this game. The amount of goals I score coming off the back of a La Croqueta into a finesse shot, I can't do that with Suarez. The amount of times Trezeguet does a skill move that really hurt, helps, a stop and turn or something like that, or, or a chop that gets me into a position to score a goal, I can't replace it. I can't replace that. The only the, like Trezeguet is going to go. Maybe, maybe I will reconsider if Aubameyang is a beast. If we get player of the month of Aubameyang and he's an absolute machine and, and starts outscoring Trezeguet, having him there instead of Trezeguet, I would then reconsider and potentially go and get Makaleli. You know that'd be awesome. Uh, but until then, I'm in my mind, I'm saving Trezeguet to drop in Thierry Henry's SBC. So as soon as you know SBC set four or five or six or whenever Henri comes about, I want Henri in this squad. I will do anything and everything to get Henri in this squad. And we're not going to rest until we get Henri in this squad. And I would hate to drop Trezeguet in 
spend another 300,000 coins on top of that to get Makalele, maybe get nothing back in the in the packs, and then on redrops two weeks later, and I can't afford him. I would I would be livid with myself. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's where I'm at. Anyway, we we played against uh, Master. He's a streamer, as I say. Um, He's a good player. He, he gets uh, usually 26 plus wins. Uh, last week, I think he only got 20 wins or 21 wins. I think he had a bad week because obviously the servers were really bad and whatnot. Um, but I, I like to play against him because he's a quality player. He plays, it's, it's tough to break him down because he just AI defends constantly, uh, which just gears me better for the weekend league. So, you know, it, it's good to get a game in there. Obviously, the weekend league starts today as we start. I'm, I'm not even kidding, dudes. I will be very upset with myself if I don't get Elite 3 from this point going forwards, aside from the fact that I'm probably going to have to go... And, uh, it, unless unless I play with Pogba and Mbappe this weekend and try a new formation, then I can excuse dropping into Gold 1. Because if I... Like, I'm thinking I might go into the 4 3 one, two. I think it's probably the best formation for the squad. But if I can't play well with that formation, our results are going to suffer. But it would be nice to use Pogba and Mbappe for a weekend league because we pack them. You know, it'd be nice to experience them for a weekend league. But this, guys, uh, for today is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.